Hello, everybody. We're here with another episode of the Apex Coalition show for you. We do have Amazon Prime Thursday Night Football audio in the background, but I've got it turned down real low. So I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Maybe it'll add to some ambiance. Um, but, oh, that was almost picked. Um, I am joined. I, I am joined by playoff competitor and in, in the someone who's in an active game, reigning champion. Some call him the Hebrew Hammer. Some call him the favorite to win the playoffs. Lippy, how are you doing? Sir, I'm doing lovely. You know, it's a real shame my competitor, uh, Mr. House, couldn't join us tonight. Um, neither could his uh, cohort, Tyler Lockett, over here on Thursday Night Football. <laughs> I haven't seen him since about the first drive. Um, hopefully he comes out of the slumber soon, because I'd love a competitive game, but we'll get to it later. I don't see much competitiveness happening this week with me and Jack. So, we'll, we'll jump into that real quick. We do. Let's go over the Week 14 matchups. That, that made us here. That's why we're here now. Um, K. Cole stomps me into the ground because I just no, no one on my team shows up. Uh, Kyler goes out after scoring point six. Um, K. Cole had a great last two weeks there. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, DJ Moore had point six. Wow, I got I got one point two <clears throat> out of DJ Moore and Kyler. Um, actually, because I scored so lowly, uh, so low, and my players just went, Keiko actually beat me on points four for the season, uh, by what, by a point. Uh, so he actually outperformed me for points four for the season. Congratulations, yeah, Keiko. Don't love that considering he was battling for a winless season until about week 10. I mean, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> um, and then we had the most thrilling elimination game for our division between Jonah and Curran, who went into the game with whoever won the game, won the division. And what we are instead left with was a 78-70 to 70 whimper game. Um, oh, just so gross, but Curran does advance. I mean, excuse me. I completely forgot. Curran actually strategically saved his players in all of their points so, wow. so that he could demolish in the playoffs. I Because Curran is, of course, favored to win the championship, All anyone with any sense thinks Curran is going to win. Uh, so are you picking him on the podcast live to I'm win saying, the title? I'm <laughs> saying it's a lock. Guaranteed wow. that he will win the championship I've never been, certified lock. Yeah, I've Love never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Um, I've, as as you well know, Lippy, I've always been a big fan of Kurt and fantasy football. I really respect and appreciate what he does. Um, this is no different. He has established an elite team that obviously, you know, is unstoppable. I will say this, sir. I have I, this is the best the best unstoppable team I've seen that has to start Brian Robinson and Curtis Samuel weekly. I mean, <laughs> the it just shows that Kern has a keen mind for strategy. Um, Hunter, of course, needed a miracle. It did not happen. He did outscore you by 20, but he needed, what, 50 more to outscore you? Yeah, he, he needed to outscore me by 72 and a half or something like that. So, Hunter, I think a lot of people could say that he should be in the playoffs. He's not a team you'd want to face. I mean, it's not a team. three of the top face. five players in fantasy. He had a strategy, yeah. and it worked. And he had the third best record in Apex. And I think, I think really and truly, all jokes aside, I think Works. everyone everyone was very wrong about Hunter's team. I think just about everyone dubbed it one of, if not the worst team post draft, including myself. I don't think anyone was more loud about that than me. Maybe you, maybe Curran, who knows? But we were wrong. The team was actually really good, and even you, uh, the person that edged him out for that wild card spot, can agree that that team was very good. And in the It'd be naive to say that a strategy did not work. Yeah. So. I mean, and he ended up, I mean, just 
It's a good team. Nine and five record. Let's look. Fourteen hundred point. No, that's that's not him. Fifteen hundred points scored. He ends up 50, stuff. fifty behind you. Seventy ahead of Kern. Ahead of everyone in the Hug Heroes division. The, the only people that outscored him were you and Jack. So um, I think we got to give a little bit of a hat tip to Hunter for basically as an apology for we were wrong. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't enough. But just by the just by the edge of his teeth, it wasn't enough. Um, and then you you the rematch that we now know has happened for this week occurred. And Lippy, what do you say to the people that say it wasn't close? Uh, I would say to those same people that once you get in the playoffs, nothing matters, sir. Nothing matters. That's, and last year we figured yeah. we figured out how to win in the playoffs. But it will we dominate. We dominated. Well we'll focus more on that specific match for just a second. So let's go ahead. Man, we were just getting our we were happy we came out healthy, sir. Yeah, we had one goal come out healthy, and we didn't waste our points like Jack did last week. So, <laughs> I mean, you'd hate to drop one thirty-five and then only drop like ninety the next week. I mean, right? If you pick a week to not score, it'd be the week where your game doesn't ultimately matter. Well, that, that's a really good point. I mean, you you got to score points if you want to win. That's something I know all too well. Um, we had a, a sad miracle that couldn't happen from Tebow. Um, Unfortunately, his team just didn't show up that this week. We're left with Chubb has been very disappointing the last handful of weeks. I think that's tied to Watson's performances, even though he did pass a lot this last game. Uh, I mean, Chubb was giving Timo 30, 19, 25, 17, 25 he was churning, the first eight weeks. Churning. And now he's only had one game over 13 points the last five weeks since his bye. Okay, well... Uh, this is a CMC's having a great game right now. A few behind the curtain for our viewers. Our dog Casper has mauled his adorable toy koala. Oh, we no. might be able to salvage this. I think it's one of the toys where you're supposed to chew it. Um, we'll we'll get an update to all of the interested viewers after we discover what happens with the koala. Uh, but his. He's not doing so hot. Um, Casper, you really did a number on him. We, I think we can salvage it, though. Um, but more importantly, Timo and Monstar, I wanted... This was so tough for me because I, I really wanted all of them to succeed, including Neil after his heroic defeat of Curran. I mean, there, there was not a more likable division. Obviously, Yell's division was the best, but and can I just let you know, sir... Y'all weren't everyone's favorite teams. Some some people say y'all beat your chest a little bit. Not that I would say that, but some people would. So this was very sad. I mean, not everyone in that division could make it. Um, I mean, it's arguable that everyone in our division should have made the playoffs. Even Dustin, Dustin, right? Just being in our division and getting the right to face us should mean that he gets to go to the playoffs. Well. Yeah, see, so I don't think anyone would say that you're wrong, but that kind of makes everyone frown because, you know, it's like the meme that they hated Jesus because he spoke the truth. Uh, no, no. But, uh, oh, CMC just got buried. Um, but what, are your, what, are your th sir, what are your thoughts on the Avatar um, sequel? I'm going to be honest, I've never seen the first one, so I don't know what to even think about going. All right. So I was told, one of my good friends, he was uh, actually in G League momentarily, and then Hunter said stump porn to the group me, and he left. Uh, mm, that's sad. Yeah. Well, it might be smart is the right word for it. Uh, so I'm a little bit behind Chicago Internet. I just got that ad. Anyway, he told me it was like the best movie he'd ever seen, and I went and watched it, and I'm like, I mean, that's cool. It was cool. I kind of thought the end was dumb. Um, I don't think the second one's going to be all that good. Like, yeah, well, it's three hours. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of work. Yeah, if I'm going to watch a three-hour movie, I want it to be, like, just an amazing story with amazing acting performances. Like, like I think The Irishman was three hours. That's worth it. 
Or, like, it has to be just an incredible fucking... I don't know, there has to just be a world that I'm interested in. Like, like the extended edition Lord of the Rings, I think, are, like, longer. Uh, and I love those. You know, it is. But, it's long movies. But just the blue people reenacting yeah, it's, dances it's with blue man, It's blue man group underwater. Yeah. That's I, all it is. I just... I mean, it just doesn't click with me. Now, I think it's going to make a killing at the box office, but I, I'm i going to wait for it to come out on streaming before I see it. Uh, James Cameron, uh, I don't think he's ever released a movie that's technically been a flop in the box office. Yeah. But, I mean, that doesn't matter to me. I, I, I don't care. Um, all I know is it doesn't really speak to me. Obviously. I never saw the first one, so I have no idea what to think. I mean, it's it's all right. I, I do think the ending's dumb, um, but you'll see. I mean, it's not. I can't really say spoilers because the movie's been out for I think like 15, 13 years. 15 yeah, years. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, it's good. I mean, fuck, you should probably see it. Um, but yeah. Any, anyway, I just wanted to give one last closing shout out to to this whole division. I. Everyone called it the shit pit. It was not the shit pit. Our division was the shit pit. These boys built pretty good teams. They made good trades. Oh! Um, can't, can't drop that pick. Why am I so far behind? Fuck you, Amazon. How far I hate behind are you? Chicago Internet. He just snapped the ball. <laughs> uh, he dropped the pick. What the fuck? <laughs> I fucking hate I mean... Chicago. Um... <laughs> I'm getting the replay of the pick already. All right. Let's move on. This is where I'll make my chapter <laughs> mark right here. Um, so that takes us to week 15. Week 15. Can I just say one more thing about week 14, sir? Please, please. Um, I knew. I knew Van Jefferson should have been in Jonah's lineup. And, you know, I hate I told you so, but all Jonah had to do was start oh. Van Jefferson over MBS, and, he's in, and he beats Kern. All, that's all he had to do. Yeah, well, I mean, that's uh, the same guy that started a Brandon Cooks who was deemed ineligible, yeah. you know, eight days before he started him or whatever. It's um, okay. Kern crashing and falling and then Annie, t- Annie telling us she didn't know why he was so depressed for five days <laughs> after he loses in the playoffs. <laughs> that's a lot better than you know. You know what was fucked up, and I, I do have to say this here. Kern, Kern fought a little dirty. The week that I played him, <laughs> he had Annie send me demoralizing text messages. And that, <laughs> Kern, that's fucked up. <laughs> it was so uh, funny. Tyler Lockett? Yeah, it's Tyler Lockett. Oh it's my not god, ideal. Lippy. What the hell? Like, do you live on a satellite? Um, <laughs> let's see here. It's a Comcast internet. Like, like this This was just depressing. Um, she sent me at first, are you prepared to get knocked out of the playoffs? And then I send her a lot of responses. And then she, she responds back, two words, period. Foster Monroe, period. <laughs> um, I think she was getting coached on what to say. Oh, that just makes it worse. Um, but let's get into this preview. Um, as Lippy is narrating, Tyler Lockett is scoring a few more points as we go. Um, the folks at Sleeper HQ are saying it's close. Perhaps as Lockett is having a slower start to the game. Obviously, that changes if he gets a touchdown. Um, but they're saying it's going to be close. Oh, oh! Is he going? Nope. Wow. He almost got all the way. Wow, 50 seconds left there for five yards. So has it happened yet? It's happening now. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Wow, okay, so that's a big, big fumble just happened. I mean, I was just thinking Travis Hunter's getting the ball a lot. I guess not anymore. Yeah, I think he's that done. That cannot happen. Um, that's tough. And the Seahawks wasted that pick in the first place. For you viewers at home... The Seahawks were about to get across midfield with about a minute left in the half, and Travis Hunter just fumbled the ball away. And now the Niners have a chance to go 14 nothing before half. Well, 14-3, right? It's oh, three, yes. Yeah, yeah, um, Well, Salipi, what, what has to happen for you to lose this matchup? Look, put, your, put your feet in those so, shoes. I'll, 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 put, I'll put you just in the shoes of how I see the matchup, sir. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, 
So Jack has three guys that play after noon on Sunday. So after the noon o'clock games, you know? Okay. Actually, all play at 3.05. He's got the Jacobs, Adams, Keenan stack. Okay. I have, I have four of my own. Mixon, Slayton, Christian Watson, and James Conner. If my four outscore his three, I don't see any way I lose. Well, now let me let me ask you a question. This it's a, it's a big it's a big ask. This might sound silly. What about the players that play before the three o'clock games on Sunday? I, I out I out mine outscore his. I mean, Mahomes outscores Allen. What do we got here? We got mixing or Mc, McKinnon versus Zeke. Give me McKinnon. Now, we have AJ Brown versus Garrett Wilson. AJ Brown, Andrews over Schultz. I mean, Dunzo, sir. Well, let, let me let me ask you a a quick one. Um, Mahomes is playing Houston, right? And that that screams free low. But quarterbacks do not really do very well against the Houston Texans, Lippy, and that is for one reason: the quarterback stops playing after the second quarter. Uh, See, but what you're not understanding is they don't rush the ball in when they get to the six yard line. Okay, well, would it so be Mahomes bad will for Mah- Mahomes, but, that, but sir, I don't think you saw the hype video. McKinnon loves the dump off passes. McKinnon's a lock <laughs> for a four yard touchdown pass on Sunday. It, and then once the score gets out of hand, boom, hand the ball to McKinnon. You don't want to get Pacheco hurt. Yeah. Well. Huh. Okay, I mean that. I could call I, I, that. I think I think Mahomes outscores outscores Allen. I don't necessarily disagree with you. That game's supposed to be horrible. It's supposed to be you know negative two hundred degrees or whatever. It's going to uh, be an ugly game. It's going to be a really ugly game. I think Jack probably is worried about it uh, because it is in Buffalo, so, so the, of course. Uh, so then let's go to the AJ Brown versus Garrett Wilson. That's going to be a fucking dead heat. But if Garrett Wilson becomes a rookie for a game, you know. Granted, it is the Lions who just have given up like nine wide receiver one games in the last four weeks. Yeah, Which, Garrett, just thinking Garrett, about that, doesn't add up. Garrett Wilson might. <laughs> yeah, something's wrong there. Um, no, sir. It's the real. It's a real stat, though. That's crazy. Um, Garrett Wilson need, could go bananas. Yeah, uh, uh, I need Mark Andrews, but I mean AJ Brown could too. Rumor has it he might have Lippy in attendance cheering him on. Wow. Really? I mean, we'll see. We'll see those. I will say that that is the wild card for me of this matchup. Like, I think pretty much. I think I think I've got a pretty good idea of how everyone else is going to do. But I, Lippy, I have no idea what to expect from Chris Watson. I thought when you traded for him in the first place, I thought, "What has Lippy done? What has he done? This is so silly. Lippy's going to regret this." He's he keeps on scoring touchdowns, Lippy. I don't know what to say. I I mean, so, I mean, realistically, Ramsey's not gonna shadow a rookie Christian Watson, right? But who would he shadow? Because I don't know. Other than that, I just, it's just shadows. <laughs> I, and it, what's probably gonna happen is we're going into Monday night needing about seven points from Christian Watson, and he drops twenty five. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it'd be really crazy if that's like on the money. Um it's I'll be shocked if it, I'll be shocked if it's locked up before Monday night football. Okay. So you're saying it will come down to Christian Watson. It'll come down to what Christian Watson does. We're we're we're, sh- we're showmen, we're entertainers, sir. We we can't just lock it up that quickly. I mean, even me winning by sixty against Kern last year, it felt close until about five PM. Speaking of not locking it up that quickly, this could be an important drive for Tyler Lockett. There's yeah. 40 seconds left Ooh, in wow. the second half. Oh, he's a man. Tyler Lockett? DK Metcalf. Oh, yeah, I was wrong about Oh, they're going to get offensive pass. They're, they're going to get offensive on this one, though, apparently. Oh, there's yeah, the flag. He, he, he can get a quick 30 garbage yards right Flippy, here. You could make a killing betting on this game with me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you could just One time, what in. was it? We were streaming a, a hockey playoff game over in uh, whatever the business building was at Millsap, sir. Yeah. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, Blackhawks scored a goal. I got the notification on my phone. I turned to the guy I was studying with for chemistry. 
<laughs> and I'm like, hey, Lee, you know, I think Blackhawks are about to score in the next, you know, like 50 seconds. You know, what do you think? He's like, bet. <laughs> and then it happened. <laughs> That's a dirty yeah. move. He uh, thought I was a wizard. Oh, there's fucking that piece of shit locket. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this. Does Joe Mixon against Tampa Bay scare you at all? It's a must win game bit. for Tampa Bay. They've got a they they've got a one game lead, but they could easily lose it. There's a catch by Lockett. Um, so you're not scared of the Tampa Bay defense. Are so, you scared of the Denver the defense? But I maybe not because Kyler's out. The problem is with uh, Mixon and Connor is yeah they just get the ball too much. Connor's been great. He's been really good. Connor's been. I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't think anyone really thought what was going to happen with Connor. Here's happened. No, I, with I, his I, ninety four of the last five games greater than ninety five percent snap rate. Like that's incredible. Yeah, I mean, I traded him away. I wouldn't have done so if I thought this was going to happen. He's been. He's been great. They've used the piss out of him, and I think with Kyler, with Kyler being out, he's just going to be used more. Uh, no offense at Colt McCoy. I know he's a big fan of the show. Um, now let's look at the benches real quick, and then we'll move on to the other matchup. There are some. We do have some questions on the benches. That's for sure. That's that's what I was going to ask you about. Now, do you think there's any chance Jamal Williams enters the fray? Um, one sec. I got a little work text here, sir. Uh, Jamal Williams. Um. It's a tough. It's a tough bench. I can't lie. Well, what what, but, what, what what I do with that text? Just think this over as I talk it out with you. What I see on the bench of Jack is I see Jerry Judy because Russ is down. Now, if I were to have benched anyone for Judy, it would have been Tyler Lockett. And before you, before you get a chance to respond, can I just say? I think this might end up being what really bites Jack in the butt. Obviously, I know now that I've said that, Lockett's going to score 26 points in the second half. But playing against an Arizona team that we've already seen give up on defense multiple times this year, I think Judy might have a great game. I don't think losing Russ is really that big of a deal for the offense. If anything, they might have unrestricted QB play and someone who's just letting it sling. What are your thoughts about Jerry Judy? So, at the end of the day, it's ultimately what can you live with if that player's on your bench and you lose, is the, really the question to me. Yeah. And when you look at the choices, like how can you justify benching Tyler Lockett, who's had three games in the single digits the entire season? Three out of, so he's had 10 games over double digits, three under. Versus Judy, who's had one game you're happy with the entire season. You know, maybe two or three. True, true. So, I can see, like, the problem is, I mean, Jack would like the bench, the rosters to be one spot longer, honestly. Yeah. Um, but you can't really, blame, ah, that's a tough call to choose between Lockett and Judy. He's chosen Lockett, and I mean, four points so far. I just think, stays, uh, I think it's so interesting, and obviously my opinion means very little because I've won five games this year. That's literally how many losses you had. Jack had less losses than I have wins. Um, but Mike Evans and Judy being on the bench, my, my peanut brain just shrinks up and does funny things when I see that. Um, not saying that it, it's not a great move by Jack, but when I looked at this, I was just like, that, that just seems like it would give me a funny feeling. Um, but the funny feeling I get is honestly... I know there's that green symbol next to Keenan Allen at tennis, Tennessee. Yeah. But just Tennessee can play those games where they just don't get the ball. And if all of a sudden you're only you're getting two less possessions, three less possessions on the entire game, no. Keenan could have it, – it's just tough, though. How do you bench Keenan for Judy? The, the, the only thing I'll say on that front is that I like the matchup there because Tennessee, their run defense, amazing. It's really, really good. Their pass defense, I mean, they made Davis Mills look okay when they played earlier this year. I mean, that might be a great play. Uh, like, it's, I think any Charger passing option will probably have a good game. So, 
I don't know. I like that play. Uh, but ultimately, sir, when you think of Jamal Williams, yeah, I would need a two-touchdown game for me to even be remotely happy with him. And granted, that has happened four or five times this entire season, which is absolutely ridiculous. There's, yeah, I think there's a lack of predictability there. You know, for my matchup last week, it's just it's about com- it's about comfortable like it's about a comfortable floor. Yeah, and Jamal Williams' floor is seven, eight points yeah. if he or gets lower a touchdown. Than that. Or yeah, lower, yeah, uh, because like his ceiling might be ten to twelve points. Yeah. Uh, seventy percent, like seven, twelve, ten points or less, seventy percent of the time, and it's <sighs> yeah. Because I, I spot started Justin Jackson last week and got a touchdown from. You have no idea who those TDs will go to. Uh, not that Jamal's not awesome, but I, I think I probably agree with the the sit decision. And there. Lions on the road too. I don't know how Jamal's done on the road in general. <laughs> yeah, I would also be interested about the weather in that game, um, just because it is up north. Um, well, look, let's, let's move into the Hunter, um, excuse me, I just assumed he was in the playoffs, he's not, um, the, uh, some would say should be in the playoffs, let's move to Golly and Curd, again, sleepers projecting a close one, Golly coming in 9 and 5, Curd coming in 8 and 6, but he did have a tough division to play against, so keep that in mind, um, did Curd go... 6 0 in division play? He did. No, 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 he lost the cake hole. <laughs> so he went 5 1, right? So he went yes. 5 1 in division play, meaning. <laughs> 3 and 5. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, he went 3 and 5 against non division opponents. Um, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I can't. I can't. All right. We're good. Um, Cur- Curran's got a great team. Um, he's, he's got Rashad White against Cincinnati. That's actually probably a good matchup. ETN against Dallas. ETN against Dallas is tough. Um, Just Jefferson might score a million points. Curtis Samuel and Brian Robinson. Ugh. Um, it doesn't make you feel good, but they are in the playoffs right now, so I mean... Would you start, if, would you start if, Robinson or Zemir Knight? <sighs> 11 points, 14 points, 14 points. I'd bench ETN for Zonovan, maybe. Against Detroit. Detroit's run defense is south. Yeah. I, I mean, the passing options are are better. Um, you expect the Jets to be in the game. Um, boy, I, I really... He has so many Jets. I, did he do this on purpose? I think he did just pick up a lot of Jets. Yeah, he picked up Elijah Moore. He picked up Tyler Carklin. That makes me think that he is going to change this lineup. But he's not going to bench Goddard, is he? It's t- trending towards playing. He's going to play the stack. See, the bigger problem is, where does Kern's points come from? How does he get above 100 points? His points come from Hertz and Jefferson. Hertz, Hertz and J Jets. I mean, Higgins. I mean, he literally didn't even play last week. How many snaps? How many ke- like targets will he get even if he plays? He remained limited practice Thursday. <laughs> Gives both unless they, unless they see full play. practice, I'd be I'd be worried. Maybe that's why he picked up Elijah Moore to. Well, but maybe he did that for Curtis Samuel. I feel like starting Brian Robinson and Curtis Samuel against the Giants is a... That's a tough play. I don't starting really, Curtis Samuel makes me want to puke. That's that's really tough. Let's let's look at a different scenery. Let's take a look over at Golly's team. He's got Joe Burrow. Sleeper spot him 24. What do you think about that? 
You think Burrow's good for 24 oh. against Tampa Bay? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? Like I said, it's a must, basically a must-win game for Tampa Bay. Honestly, sir, would you take a 20-point game out of Burrow if you were Gally if it meant Higgins had a sub-5-point game? Yeah, I mean, because Kern's Kern's out here with the reverse stack on him. Yeah, that could that could work out. Uh, if Kern gets Higgins to outscore Chase, it's over. Yeah, because that means Higgins is going to cancel out a chunk of Burrow's points. Right. And you know, Hertz is going to. I mean, unless the, the Eagles don't pass a single touchdown, and Hertz somehow gets one touchdown the whole game. You know, there's there's concerns here. I worry about Montgomery against Philly also for Golly. Um, exactly. I think Pacheco will do great against Houston. That's I like Mike. I do like Mike. I like Golly's team. It's just yeah. you can see the path to where Kern's trash piece of stack garbage. Uh, yeah, I worry, I worry about Juju too. That's kind of yucky. Um, would you play Lazard or Juju? That's a, that, that's tough. I I um, play Lazard. I it's again a question of what you can live with. I don't think it's really a close decision either. Um, you don't think it's close? I don't think it's close. I'd play Lazard easily ahead of Juju. Wow. Um, and it gets rid of his double dependency on the Chiefs. It's a tough yeah, choice uh, though. I'd, I'd, I'm telling you, you don't want Chief passing options. Maybe Travis Kelsey, but I don't. I don't know. I think Pacheco will have a great game. That doesn't worry me at all. I think that's a, a big plus for Golly. But the see, the question are, is, does he get a rushing touchdown? I guess he had two the last two out of three oh, games. He'll, he'll get a rushing touchdown. Don't worry. We'll we'll carry him in. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think is uh, Damian Pierce out this week? He is out this week. And it's it's whatever the hell his name is, Agubawale. Davis Mills. Agubawale. Yeah. Right back. I picked him up. Um, funny enough, we are not. In consolation matchups, the bottom four seeds don't play for anything right now, so I picked up those players for no reason at all. Um, so, but let me pick them up because I thought we were going to play. Um, that's okay. Yeah, that's just another reason Crane is the worst commissioner ever. I mean, it might be. While this is going on, CMC. What a sad, sad day for Hunter. CMC has 17 points at half. Absolute incredible uh, halves by CMC. I mean, those are he just absolute incredible half. And Kittle had a nice little half. Yeah, uh, but Neil's team doesn't play either. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. I've, uh, so we'll we'll do another little uh, chapters a chapter wrap here. But let me ask you this, Lippy. Um, <laughs> If there was one trade you could take back this regular season, Ooh. what would it be? I mean, it's, it's a very easy call. It's me giving up Saquon, Christian Kirk, and Olave just to get uh, Mike Evans and Aaron Jones. I mean, that is really tough when you say it out loud. Um, but the easier one that, like, is I, I, I can live with that trade at the end of the day. Um, thinking it was a good idea to give up DeAndre Hopkins for Mike Thomas. Um, that yeah. was, was you that had, you had, you had, you, deal or uh, you know you know Benjamin and Aaron Rodgers were included. Do you really count them? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, if you were to take away Darius Slayton and DeAndre Hopkins, granted it's uh, Colt McCoy, but still Colt Colt loves Hopkins. They, he loves him. That doesn't worry me at all. Um, yeah, I mean, if you were to add DeAndre Hopkins instead of Slayton, I would. I mean, that's juicy. this would just be an absolute smash of a team. Yeah. Um, Danny DeVito's at Jersey Bikes right now. Where do you sit on sandwich places? I kind of think they're always good, but it just feels like kind of a scam. What do you think? There's, a, there's this place by my place where I grew up in Chicago called Pane, P A N E S, Bread Company. Yeah. They freshly make their bread every day, sir. I mean, and they've got this Oaxacan, you know, like it's called like a Oaxacan pork yeah. sandwich. Yeah. Oh, they do like these the peppers cheese. that are like sautéed in there. Oh, there's no cheese, sir. It's just goodness. 
and it's it's a delightful sandwich. They they have tons of great sandwiches there. Interesting. And it's all on fresh bread that they made that day. I mean, that sounds great. You're selling it well. Um, um, and then also on the topic of bread, bagels are the easiest thing to make from scratch. Really? Bagels are easy to make? Uh, I mean, besides the waiting for the dough to rise, which takes under an hour, it's the easiest thing in the world to make. It's because Ashley makes some different breads from scratch. She makes... Uh... Uh, a couple of different types, and they're they're always excellent. So you said bagels aren't too bad. That's interesting. Well, I, I'd say I, I'd say they're easy. It's easier than a loaf of bread, probably. Really interesting. But the, I mean, well, I guess you just have to be spending more time shaping and cutting or something. Uh, uh, no, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm sending you a picture, sir. It's a quality picture. I mean, the shape isn't perfect, but it's a bagel. I mean, huh. and I mean. Picture me with the dough. She, 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 makes, I mean, she makes great bread. She is a she, she makes it, a, a braided hollow loaf that's just incredible. Ooh. Wow. Let's At see. the end of the day, I mean, bagel dough is just wow. water. You, you made this bagel. This is from the dough you're holding. Ex exactly, that looks sir. It's just bagel. Wow. Yeah. It's ladies, a bagel. And, ladies and gentlemen, Lippy has a lot of talents that he doesn't tell everyone about. Because um, that, that looks like a, a damn fine bagel. Let's see here. I got one more picture. It, there, there's oh, no there's reason no to ever bagel. eat. There's no reason to ever eat bagels that are not just made from your own damn hands. Well, I don't know about that. But however, these do look really good. I guess I've got to give it a try before I disagree with you. So, so they were wow. they're, they're better they're better than any store bought bagel you can even find. I'm gonna send a picture. I'm gonna send the, the, the picture of these to Ashley. These look really good. I, I I want bagel style lippy. That's what I want. I, I did learn to make them from a place that you don't love, sir. Um, it's worse than a library. It's a TikTok. Oh, oh no! I yeah, know TikTok. TikTok. Yes. Yeah, Ashley Lippy made those uh, from from scratch. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, she said he's Jewish. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he he's naturally talented at bagel making. Um, wow, well, it's in the blood. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, so we we've started the second half. What what can Lockett do to make you feel uncomfortable in the rest of this game, Lippy? See. There's honestly not much Lockett could do that would make me sad. I take you back to let. If he gets two touchdowns, would that make you sad? <laughs> I, I don't know if it could. Last year, AJ Brown put up eleven for one forty-five and a touchdown against me at the championship, and I won by sixty. Yeah, I, that was twenty-six points. If Lockett can break twenty-six points, he gets more than twenty-two points in this half. Maybe I'd feel a little scared. You know what that just means, sir? It means we're not going to sleep for the next three nights thinking about how to beat Jack. <laughs> well, I mean, this seems... We haven't really even... I don't know if we've said his name. Devontae Adams is on Jack's team. He's quite good at football, Lippy. No way he's going to break that tackle. Oh, get in the end zone! He's having a game. They're at the 46 yard line on my. He's screen. having a game. Uh, the touchdowns. The touchdown signs already on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so Kittle scores here. He does. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, touchdown, George Kittle, a 50 yarder. Um, should have streamed Brock Purdy. Um, good. Neil's team is sitting pretty. In the non consolation game that he's not in. Um, why did that happen? I feel like we've always had the consolation bracket. Yeah, I feel like this is Kern's fault. It's probably Kern's fault because he was too focused on making such a good team that's going to win in the playoffs. Um, if we can get back to Kern versus Golly. Yeah. I mean, that ETN projection feels just woefully high it really it does seem high i think they will feel exposed 
after Houston almost went the distance with them. It was easily Houston's best performance all year as a team on a complete team level. I think Dallas is going to punish Jacksonville for it. Uh, I think that game is going to be brutal, especially after Jacksonville's looked really good. I think they're going to get bopped on the head a little bit. Uh, or Dallas really isn't as good as we think they are, but I think they are. Uh, Sir, but at the end of the day, Dallas is probably going to have to go to Tampa Bay in that first playoff game. Granted, they should win. Um, but oh, you really think so? Interesting. I'm, I, I mean, it's gonna. I mean, they're gonna be the top wild card team unless they win the division, and Bucks are gonna win be the worst division champ. So it's gonna be mm, Dallas so at would, Tampa. It would necessarily be but Dallas and Tampa. It's gonna. I mean, it's Dallas and Tampa. Does, does Dallas Tampa. play Philadelphia again? Yes, they have one game against them. Let's see. Let's look at the standings real quick. It's next week, sir. Wow. I mean, because the, they would and they would need Philly to lose another game too, because they've got the same division record. So if they beat Philly and Philly were to drop another game, they could do it. But you're probably right; that probably won't happen. I can't see Philly dropping a silly game. Um, that's another team that takes the second half off pretty much. Um, well, you know, when you look at the standings, uh, there's only two teams. No, there's three teams, excuse me, eliminated from playoffs. It's Houston, Denver, and Chicago. So, uh, um, you know, it just it shatters my heart that every year the Bears suck. Well, boy, do they. Uh, it's like clockwork. Boy, did you know that the Houston Texans have a minus 103 point differential? Whereas the Buffalo Bills have a plus 132 and Philly has a plus 138. Dallas, to their credit, has a plus one thirty one. You know, it's kind of. Do you guys have two? You have two first round picks this year, right? Yeah, we've got ours and the. You Browns. have the Browns and two thirds. You have the Browns third. You guys are gonna have a fun little off season. It is gonna be fun. We're gonna take Bryce Young, and I would feel really conflicted about it. Um, that's not what I want us to do, but it's what we're gonna do. And the Browns have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth worst record. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're you could pretty, have two top ten picks. Yeah, their pick's pretty good. Um, and uh, Fuckhead has come back and been really bad at football. So um, I don't think they're going to win too many more games just because by necessity there's not the time for it. Because what, they've, they've only got three weeks left. Um, I need the Raiders to win some games. They're at five wins also. I need the Falcons to and the Panthers to win some games. But... Um, the, the Rams and Cardinals kind of let me down, but let's look at the Browns' schedule real quick because I would I would love for them just to drop. It's an interesting schedule. I can they'll, see two and two. I can see Ravens. I can see two and two. I can see one and three. I can see three and one. Yeah, they won't go four and out though. They won't do anything crazy like that. Um, At worst, you have the fifteenth pick in the draft. Yeah, which is still awesome. I'm still really excited about that. Um, that that will be great. Uh, but hopefully they drop all four. Now that, I don't think that'll happen. But I mean, actually, I'll, I'll predict one and three. I bet they beat the Saints, but that's it. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think the Steelers and Ravens are gonna fuck on Deshaun Watson pretty hard. Um, and I think the Commanders are just a really nasty team to actually beat. So the Saints, however, are absolutely terrible. So. That should be what's wrong with Jameis? What's wrong with Jameis Winston? I don't know. I think maybe they need to undo the LASIK or something. I don't know if he like pissed on somebody in the locker room. I feel Is like he still he hurt? I don't understand. He had fractured vertebrae and then just but haven't he's, hurt. He's, he's suiting up for all of these games, Lippy. Like yeah, for a month ago he's been off the injury report. Yeah, it does make any sense um, because no offense to Saints fans. Uh, Andy Dalton is not the right answer, friends. So, he, but the the coach Dennis Allen said he, Winston may not be a hundred percent at any point the rest of the season. That's, that's but another. He's, guy. But he's healthy. <laughs> yeah. That's, Wait, what just happened? What the fuck? Wow! I'm watching it now. Gito steps back, pressure, gets it off. Oh, oh, poor Gito. Oh, oh, no. oh! Oh, look, shit, call. Oh, they called it back. I see the flag. Wow. 
Come on, I want I want Gino to make the playoffs. I mean, what's their schedule look like? Yeah, we can look at that. I, cause, man, I, I'm just a big Gino fan. Kansas City, Jets, Rams. I mean, Rams is a win. That gets them an eight. They probably need nine wins, so they got to beat the Jets or the Chiefs. So they'd probably have to beat the maybe, Jets. Maybe maybe it's hard on the Jets to fly to the West, but even though it works the other way. Oh, oh the white. Ah. Damn, it's soft, but I can see the call. What do you think about what happened last week with uh, Aguilar and Devontae Parker? That, that, that was interesting. I think it was... Con- yes! Yes! That better be what I think it is. Push off. Push off. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Bring it back. Well, let's, let's see what happens that. here. Yeah, I guess there's some illegal cheating that's about to happen. Oh, a Defense! Defense? I know, Hunter. Ah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awful. Well, looks like Dr. McClendon didn't like the call. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is on the defense. Um, boy, I just realized Golly's name is I'm on call. Let, let, me, let me ask you this, Slippy, because it's just the two of us here. I think we've covered about as much ground as we can for the pod purposes. Do you have any final takes you want to be recorded before you, you go through and finish this week? With with the record being that Lockett is now up to six point four. At the, at the end of the day, sir, Jack is just one lucky COVID ring from being you, um, from being Neil, from being Dustin. Dustin, before this playoffs right now, made the playoffs as many times as Jack. Jack doesn't belong in the same conversation as Lizzie in fantasy wow. football. I, that's... Um, that I mean, oof. We'll, we'll show we'll show him this week. Nothing matters. Jack Kern's evolved. You know, he finally learned after me beating his ass a few times in the playoffs. You know how to properly shit talk and everything. Jack's out here talking about the past, past records, past <laughs> blah blah blah, past fake COVID rings. You know, Jack loves his ring pops just like Kern used to. Oh, what a fucking cunt, Taylor Lockett. Um, <laughs> You can you can bleep that out for the pod. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely edit um, that out. Um, Jack, Jack will learn. I mean, we can have these little Tyler Lockett little BS passes all we want. <laughs> we don't care. Well, Lippy, I, I do wish you the best of luck. I, and I do honestly wish everyone luck in the playoffs. Um, I, good season to everyone except, <laughs> except me and Kate Cole. And, uh, and Dustin, you're in the same boat. Buddy, we we had shitty seasons. I think Neil Neil's team underperformed his record. I, 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 I think Neil's got a really nice team. Neil's Neil's team should have won more games. Um, so I'll say that. He's, oh, he's is he in bounds? That middle ground. Who the hell is Young? Um, we'll, we'll see a lit play here in a second. But Lippy, I wish you the best of luck, and that's that's where we'll cut it.